Hey, what's up Squishy lovers? My name is Andy and I'm back with another episode of Snowy Squishy Reviews. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing iBloom's new product, Cutie Saurus. Now, check it out. So, um, yeah, like I said, this is iBloom's new product and uh, it's pretty much what it says, okay? It's absolutely cute and it's a dinosaur. As usual, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go through um, each of the aspects of this Squishy. So, I'm going to go through uh, the design, the package, the scent, and of course, the squishiness. So, let's begin today's episode with the actual packaging. So, just give me a second. Okay, so here we are with the um, uh, packaging for the Cutie Saurus. As you can see, there's five to actually collect. Um, so, I'll go through the names. So, this one is Cosmo. Uh, this one's called Rainbow, original, right? Um, this one's called White Bubble, uh, Pink Bubble, and Emerald Bubble. Now, there's an extra one that you can see over here, which is a very special one that only we have. Um, so um, this is an actual sample that we received from uh, iBloom being, you know, their partners. Uh, they actually sent us one that is absolutely unique and has a pink little head. And like I said, you know, it's, so it's like very similar to the Cosmo one, except it has a little pink head, which we believe was pretty cool. But they decided not to make this one and made this one instead, okay? So um, that's a, that just in case if you're wondering um, what that one is, uh, this is a little special one for us. So like I said earlier, uh, before I got sidetracked it, uh, let's start off with the actual packaging, okay? So, um, over here, you can see that the packaging is quite nice. Um, it actually stands on itself. So, it's got like a little flat bottom uh, of the packaging, so it allows you to actually uh, stand the product, which is pretty cool. So, you don't actually have to take it out of the package to actually display it. You can, have to leave, you can actually leave it in the package and, uh, and it still stand by itself. So, um, I, I thought that was a really cool idea. Now, in terms of the window, as you can see, it's a very clear window, okay? So, uh, you can see everything about the squishy, which is uh, which is what I usually like. And uh, design is, you know, very basic. Uh, I don't actually really understand the design, so maybe you can actually help me out, but you can see that there's little clouds. Uh, the name is at the top here where it says Cutie, uh, Cutiesaurus. You've got a palm tree with a lightning. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really make sense to me. I don't really get it. And uh, there's a volcano, okay? So, um, very simplistic uh, design for packaging. Uh, but what I really like about the packaging is that it's different, okay? So, it can actually stand. It's very clear and uh, very simple. Uh, now, in the back here, there's a whole bunch of writing that um, you probably need a magnifying glass to actually read that. It's really small. And, um, yeah, I'm assuming it's all little warnings and, uh, you know, important information that you can't really read. So, there's that. Um, and, yeah. It's uh, by iBloom uh, down here as well. So it says iBloom down here. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is iBloom's new product. So yeah, so not really much to go off on the uh, packaging. Uh, like I said, it's a very basic design. And um, the most important thing is that it's strong. So it feels like it's really tough. And it is a resealable packaging as well. So uh, up the top here, you can actually um, pull it out. So you can actually uh, untape that which is pretty strong as well. So the glue here is pretty strong, which is pretty good. And um, yeah, so you can actually, that's how you unseal it and you can just reseal it the same way as well, okay? So it is a resealable package. Now, enough about the packaging. I'm sure you guys heard enough of that. Uh, let's just crack open these uh, squishies and uh, let's check them out. Alrighty, here we are with the, um, the Cutisaurus unpackaged. Um, as you can see, there's five different ones to collect. Uh, they look absolutely cute and they're really soft as well. So, um, you know, I really do enjoy these squishies and I really can't wait to break these down, okay? So, um, first off, uh, just in case if you missed it somehow, uh, the, the names again is called Cosmo. So this one's called Cosmo. This one's called Rainbow, original. Uh, pink Bubble, White Bubble, and Emerald Bubble, okay? So, um, now that they're unpackaged, let's actually go through the design, okay? Let's go through each individual one and check out the design. Um, let's start off with the rainbow, okay? So, um, straight off the bat, you, you can see that the actual design, the shape of the uh, squishy is really cute, okay? I actually really like these squishies. Uh, it looks like a really cool dinosaur. It kind of looks like a Loch Ness monster, um, but a cute one, all right? So, um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, they got really big eyes here. Now, the only thing I don't like is the actual mouth, okay? So, um, I don't know if you can probably see it better on the, the different colored ones. You can't really see the mouth on the rainbow one, um, but you can see the mouth on these ones. So, um, that's a bit of a miss. But overall, the color, the color of uh, the rainbow one's really nice. I generally really like the rainbow colors because uh, it blends in really nicely, okay? So, it's not like, you know, hard different shades of uh, colors. 
it, it's actually blended in and it's, uh, it actually looks quite nice. It also has uh, little specks of white around it as well, so it uh, makes it really nice as well. And, uh, and that's pretty much the design of the actual Squishy, okay? So that's the rainbow one. Now with the Galaxy one, again, you know, Galaxy is one of my favorite colors as well uh, with all these Squishies. Uh, generally with the Galaxy, you, you, your main primary colors are your blue, light blue, purple, and dark blue. Um, it's supposed to be uh, out of space type of color. Um, but you know, I don't really see purple out in space, but hey, you know, that's it's still a pretty cool color. It's a really nice blend. And it also has little white um, specks as well to present stars, I'm guessing. Um, but it works really well. You, here you can actually see the mouth of the squishy, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, overall, uh, it looks pretty nice, okay? So uh, here's the design again. Now with these three, the, uh, the bubble ones, these are really cool, okay? So um, over here is the pink bubble. And you can see the tail here, it's got little pink polka dots, okay? So that's really awesome. That's something really different. Um, you know, it actually suits this squishy quite nicely, actually. Um, yeah, it, it gives it a, a clown kind of look. Um, it, even the colors, you know, the, uh, the colors really give it like a circus type of look, which is um, really different. And uh, yeah, I really like what they did with um, these colors over here. Uh, so the pink one is uh, quite a typical pink one. The, um, there's a darker shade of pink which kind of looks like highlights, which is pretty cool. And, um, and the rest of the body is just a really light pink as well. So um, yeah, that's a, it's a really nice color. I actually like this one as well. Now with the white bubble one, um, so yeah, it's a, a very strange uh, color scheme. Uh, some people like it. I know the owner of Delightful Boutique really likes this type of color. Um, me personally, it kind of has an off color. Um, with the, like these pandas as well, it looks really um, really bizarre, really mix of colors. But uh, like I said, you know, everyone's uh, got their own different opinion, which is nice, uh, which is pretty cool. And um, and yeah, so with this one, it's got a white white body and purple shades like the head and the tail. I really like the polka dots. The polka dots uh, again really stand out, and it's got little blue fins. Okay, so that's <laughs> that's pretty cool. Now the last one is the emerald bubble. Okay, so. Emerald bubble, uh, bubble, very similar to this one, except the body is uh, uh, aqua type color. I do prefer the blue one just simply because of the color. Um, and yeah, it looks quite nice, okay? So uh, overall, you know, like these colors are really nice. I'm sure there's a color in here that, you know, everyone likes. So yeah, so they did a pretty good job in terms of the color aspects. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is the size of the squishy, okay? So um, as you can see, it's actually, uh, because of the shape, it makes it a bit hard to actually squeeze. So uh, it's a bit of an odd shape to squeeze, but I mean, it's still not too bad. So you can't actually squeeze the whole squishy unless you use two hands, uh, which is, it's not, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but they're really, really soft. Uh, you can see at the bottom here actually says eye bloom as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, but yeah, the size itself, it's it's not a bad shape, okay? So uh, it does kind of fit in the palm of my hand. So it, it does fit in my arms, uh, in my hands, not my arms rather, my hands. Um, but you know the, the thing that I am worried about is that if I squeeze too hard the head might actually fall off Okay, so um, the head does seem a bit thin the neck bit seems really thin. So um, just be careful with that I mean, I'm, I'm, I haven't actually heard of uh, the head falling off yet. So uh, just but you know Just be careful. You don't want your squishies to break um, even though they're made to be squeezed You're not supposed to really squeeze it that hard all the time. Okay, so don't be too rough on it uh, but in terms of the size it is bigger than snowy so it is taller than snowy um, the width is uh, bigger as well, so it's definitely quite a decent size uh, for a squishy. Alrighty, the next part of this video is the scent, okay? This bit is my favorite, uh, just simply because I always get it wrong, okay? So, uh, I'm gonna try my best to work out each of these scent, and hopefully I can guess it right this time, okay? So, I am getting better at it, so um, let's, uh, let's just get started. Now, as a little disclaimer, I don't actually know the scent um, of them yet, so... Um, I will leave the uh, correct scent in the description uh, below this video uh, for you to find out. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm just going to go off pure guesses and, and see how I go with that, okay? So let's start off with Cosmo. Um, hopefully they've got a, strike, uh, a strong scent. But so far, it seems like it doesn't. So with this one over here, I kind of have to bring it up quite close to my nose. Um, but when I do squeeze it, the actual scent becomes stronger, which is quite nice. Um, now this one seems like it's pretty obvious, okay, but again, I've been wrong before so I don't want to be um, quite certain on it But I'm gonna guess that this one is blueberry, okay, so um, It definitely has a fruity smell 
And uh, yeah, it smells like blueberry, so I'm gonna guess that one's blueberry. Um, now with the rainbow. Okay, I def I'm, I'm confident on this one. This one's so strong. So again, the scent is quite light, so it's not overpowering. Um, you, every time I do squeeze it, it becomes stronger, which is cool. But this one, it, it has to be peach. Like, it has to be peach. I'm, I'm betting on it to be peach. Um, even though I've been saying peach quite a lot, uh, I'm pretty confident this one's peach. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna guess this one's peach. Okay, now um, pink one, uh, pink bubble. All right. I don't know, I'm on a roll today. I'm feeling really confident about these ones. I'm guessing this one's strawberry. Okay, so... I can really smell it. Maybe I am, uh, maybe practice does make perfect. Um, but yeah, my guess is, uh, what, what did I say? Strawberry, strawberry. I'm guessing this one's strawberry. Um, now, white bubble. Uh, alrighty. I can... I can smell a hint of coconut. It's not very, uh, very strong. It's kind of, it's a, it's kind of mixed with the, uh, it's a coconut chemically smell. So it's not, uh, it doesn't smell exactly like coconut, but I'm guessing it's coconut. Okay, so white bubble, coconut. Let's hope I'm right. Now emerald, last one. I have no idea which one this one is. That is so weird. I've actually never smelt something like this before, so um, I'm really confused with this one. It kind of has a fruity smell, so it's not um, it's not like coconut. It's um, it's not. Oh, I don't even know what it is. I'm so bad with this one. I'm not even gonna guess. Okay, so um, it's got like a fruit kind of smell but I can't pinpoint exactly what fruit it is it doesn't smell like any of these ones um, it's definitely got its own smell but I can't pinpoint what it is okay so uh, I'm gonna have to give up on this one so <laughs> uh, I'll find out again I'll find out exactly what um, each of these smell uh, each of these scent and I'll, I'll post it in the description below okay so uh, there's that one all right so the next part of the video is gonna be this softness okay how squishy are these squishies now um, as you would have seen in the start of the video I did squeeze uh, this one and it did feel quite soft um, but I'll show I'll show it to you again okay so I'll start off with the head I just need to squeeze it a little bit and you can see that my fingers are imprinted into the squishy okay so um, it definitely is very soft uh, the head, the body, it all feels the same, okay? So it's definitely made, all made from the same material. Um, it's so soft that that's why I'm a bit worried about the head falling off. So do be careful about that. Um, but yeah, don't, don't squeeze too hard or don't try to pull it because um, yeah, the head might actually fall off, okay? Because uh, generally with squishies that are really, really soft like this one, um, they are quite fragile. So be careful with that. But yeah, I mean that, check it out. Look how soft that looks, okay? So um, that is definitely soft. Um, it feels really good to squeeze. It's actually quite satisfying, all right? So I, I quite uh, enjoy it. And uh, yeah, it feels really good just to actually squeeze these, okay? So I'm pretty excited to actually see what the slow rising test is gonna be like. Um, but I can already tell that it's gonna be really, really uh, slow, okay? So um, that's uh, pretty much the softness. Um, all of these, yeah, they all feel uh, the same. Actually, this one feels a little bit harder uh, for some reason, um, but yeah, I mean, like I said uh, with all my other videos, not all squishies are gonna make, not all of the same type of squishies are gonna be made equally. Um, you know, some of them might actually be different ever so slightly, and um, if you're gonna try and look for the differences, you will find them. Um, but yeah, I mean, this one is a bit tougher, but only ever so slightly, okay? So, um, there's that. Okay, so now we're up to the slow rising test, okay? So, um, as usual, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna, be trying to squeeze uh, one of these squishies as flat as possible. Okay, I might actually do two of them since there's five of them. So um, I might do these two. I'm just gonna squeeze them all the way flat to the table. I'm gonna try and make it as flat as possible. And then I'm gonna time it and see how long it actually takes for it to go back to its original form, okay? So um, yeah, I'm really excited to actually check it out. I'm, I'm sure these are gonna be really slow, uh, especially with all the newer Ivan products now that uh, they make it extremely soft and they make it very slow rising, okay? So I'm, I'll test that out and let's see how long it actually takes, okay?
Okay, we're down to the last bit, which is the upright position. Okay, how well does a squishy stand by itself? Now, um, as you can see, this, these squishies, each of these squishies can stand perfectly by themselves. Okay, and um, and so as that, I definitely give it a pass. Okay then, so now that we've gone through each of the tests and we've gone through each of the review, it's time to give it a rating out of five. Okay, so. Um, as usual, I'm going to be uh, taking into account everything we've gone through so far and uh, I'm going to give it my personal rating out of 5, okay? So, um, with iBloom's new product, the Cutisaurus, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, alright? So that's a uh, 4 out of 5, I might knock down this one, so um, yeah, so it's 4 snowies out of 5. Now, the reason why I give it a 4 out of 5 is because um, the design, the design's really nice, it looks really cute. Uh, I really like the different colors as well. You got many to pick from, so that's awesome. Uh, the softness, like I showed you before, it's really, really soft. Um, the material is really nice to squeeze. It's so satisfies, satisfying, and the size is a quite, a, quite a nice size as well. So it's not too small, it's not too big. Uh, it's just right, okay? So uh, because of that, I want to give it a four out of five. Now, as usual, if you want to get your hands on uh, the Cutisaurus, iBloom's new Cutisaurus, uh, all you need to do is just head over to delightfulboutique.com. Uh, you can check it out, look for it. It should be called Cutisaurus. Uh, type it in the search bar or it should be up as a latest product. Um, make sure that you do get your hands on this really quick because uh, they do seem like they'll be very popular. They're really cute and uh, you don't want to miss out on any of them, okay? So um, there's that. Now, as always, if you like this video, then make sure that you do give us a thumbs up. If you have any feedback, then make sure that you do leave a comment below and let me know. Um, and of course, if you haven't already, make sure that you do subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any videos in the future, okay? So, um, as always, my name is Andy. Thank you so much for watching, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Check it out, I got myself a new hat. How cool is that? That works pretty well, right? Whoop. I'm just gonna put that down.